Good morning, Bob. I'm surprised you're not napping in the in the sun. Although I guess the sun is hitting that tub. And that's, yeah, so you're probably warm. All right. Enjoy your nap, Bob. Good morning from Bobblehead Homestead. I am Jeff. Today is Sunday. I kid you not. It's, uh, oh, probably 10, 10.30 a.m. Already 60 degrees on December 23rd. <laughs> See, I know Christmas is on Tuesday, so I could figure out today's date. Uh, yeah, uh, already took care of the chickens. Everybody got food. Uh, everybody got a little diatomaceous earth today. And I also did apple cider vinegar and honey in, uh, in one of the waterers for all three of the, well, and the, and the uh, 16 chicks. So I got that done. Now I've got to take care of some buckets. Uh, I need to dump those in the compost pile and uh, uh, rinse those out. So yeah, it's going to be a busy day. And then we'll see about getting to some of this uh, hugel mess. <laughs> no, it's not going to stay like that. I don't know. I don't know what's going to be done. But it will, see, you really need it, uh, you know, the big logs on the bottom and then, you know, stack it up and then that way you can start filling in with uh, future soil. And so, yeah, it's not going to stay like that. I don't know how it's going to get undone. <laughs> it's kind of hard to do that with a bulldozer. Now that tractor with the grapple, but now it's already one thing is already in the way of the other one. Well, well, just, you know, it doesn't have to be done anytime soon <laughs> I did get another egg today yeah these are nice big blue eggs I believe this is Carol Burnett I've gotten uh, one blue egg four out of the last five days so Carol Burnett's the only one I've caught in the nest um, so it might just be her uh, when they're laying they, they usually lay a lot of a lot of good eggs at least they did last when did I get them last March so I haven't even had them uh, a year yet, but, and they, yeah, they just completely stopped for about a month there. <laughs> but, okay, all right, let's do stuff. Fifi's always finding a nice napping spot. Oh, look at you, Bob. You figured out the sun was on the other side. Good for you. Bucket chore time. <laughs> Yeah, that's no fun. Gotta be done. Free haircut over the compost pile. All right, that's going to be it for this Sunday. It's about 3 o'clock and I'm going to take a nap. Which I kind of feel bad about doing because it's so beautiful out today. I mean, it's like 62, 63 degrees. And yeah, but I got a lot of little projects done. Um, everybody's... Uh, Everybody's water and feed are taken care of, and they got their uh, new bedding, new hay, uh, did the diatomaceous earth treatment in everybody's coops. Uh, everybody got uh, apple cider vinegar, honey, and garlic. And so, yeah, so that they're pretty much taken care of. I just got to give them food and make sure their waters are topped off for the next couple of days, so... Yep, I wanted to get that out of the way, and I did dishes, and I cleaned my room a little bit, and I organized some uh, some of all those gifts that you guys 
gave me. I got piles that I still have to sort through and organize. It's kind of, oh well. <laughs> I'm going to have to keep that mobile home for storage a little bit longer. Now, people keep asking me about that mobile home. Um, I'm going to have to live in there for the next six months at least while I'm uh, finishing out the cabin. I don't, I don't have all the money to finish the cabin, you know, right now. I don't know when I'll get it. So, uh, you know, it's going to take a while to finish that, that cabin so that I can move into it. And then once I moved in there, the mobile home is going to serve as storage and uh, a place to incubate and hatch and raise baby chicks. Uh, probably start some plants in there uh, later this winter, early spring to get them started to come outside. And so, yeah, I'll be using that mobile home for at least another year. I can see it all the way through next winter also. And then, uh, and then I'll have to come up with other storage solutions. Um, we'll see once the cabin's here and done, you know, what I, uh, what may come about at that point, whether it's another shed or I build a barn or, um, uh, just a bunch of these chicken coops and, uh, you know, close them in better and use those as storage or, you know, I've got lots of options. But once I'm, once I'm done with the mobile home, I'm giving it away, somebody can take it off for free and it would be way too much money to fix it up. Um, way too much work to fix it up. I mean, you gotta, uh, you have to replace the roof. Uh, you have to replace the walls that have rotted out. You have to place the entire, replace the entire floor. You have to replace the heating and the furnace. Um, probably have to replace at least half of the electric. Um, no clue, you know, where those wires have been chewed and cut in half or whatever, or damaged by water. Um, the plumbing is who knows, and so it would just take way too much money and effort to fix that mobile home up. So hopefully, I've already had, you know, one person who said, yeah, I'll take it. I'll just stick it out back and use it for storage myself. So I shouldn't have a problem getting rid of that mobile home when the time comes, but it will not be anytime soon. Um, you know, first of all, I've got this entire shed full of trash in and around it. And that'll have to be taken care of before the mobile home can come out of here because it's right in the way. Um, and also this uh, ham radio tower. Uh, somebody somebody wants that ham radio tower. I'm going to give it to them. And uh, that'll come at a much later date also. But yeah, just for right now, I'm just taking care of what's on my plate at the present. And that's getting the, getting the cabin going. You can't get ahead of yourself or you... Uh, you get behind on what needs to be done. So, all right, that's going to be it. Oh, let me give some shout outs. Ah, oh, I didn't bring my list with me because I'm in short sleeves today. Great shirt too, huh? <laughs> uh, okay, here's, here's some channels that I watch every one of their videos. They put out a lot of good content. Um, well, I'll just say Jesse James Homestead up in Minnesota. Um, him and his wife Candy and they put out regular content almost every day and they are always doing something and that's what I that's what I enjoy about YouTube channels are the channels that uh, actions speak louder than words that's something that I that I often say and I think that's good for and I try to model my own channel after that is that actions I think speak louder than words and I like seeing people doing stuff and being productive and Jesse James Homestead they're always doing stuff and being productive and Candy is a whiz in the kitchen um, and all kinds of great recipes and she's very good at explaining and going into detail uh, about how to do that recipe and how to use the kitchen equipment that she's using. Jesse's very good, you know, with with his part of the homestead, uh, you know, running the equipment and, and uh, moving stuff around. Hi, Bob. And so it's just a great channel. I watch, watch all their videos when they come out. Another channel is Living Traditions Homestead. And you guys, uh, these channels have been around forever, but Living Tradition Homestead, another channel puts out regular content and they're always doing something. There's always action going on at their place where they're being productive. And those are the channels that uh, they keep me coming back every every episode. Uh, so Living Traditions Homestead, they're up in Missouri. Um, and just, just a great channel with all kinds of great information and 
you know, showing us how it's done and actually being productive. And along that lines, I got to mention Lumna Acres. That's another channel. Regular content. Always action going on there. Always something being productive. Uh, they're up in northern New Hampshire. So they have a lot of uh, snow and winter to deal with. Same with Jesse James Homestead. But yeah, Al and family at Lumna Acres, I've learned so much from them over over the years. I've been watching them probably at least a couple years now. Uh, back when they, I remember their first barred rock flock. <laughs> that's, that's what they started out with. But anyway, those are three great channels that put out regular content. There's always something going on there, and it's more action than talk. And I, those are the kind of channels that I enjoy, as I just spent five minutes talking and no action today. That's all right. Take her easy, everybody. Have a Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Festivus, uh, Merry Winter Solstice, uh, whatever. I'll be seeing you before the New Year's. Uh, probably no filming for the next three days, I'm imagining. And we'll just see what happens. Go from there. Take her easy. <laughs>